Hello, and welcome to Past Generation Gaming. This is a console review of the Nintendo 64 system, which was released in 1996. So this thing was built by Nintendo. It's built like a rock. These, these uh, plastic systems that Nintendo made back in the day were just, they were just built, you know? So, okay, well, I have a great story about this, actually. My brother and I didn't have a video game system at a time back in history. This thing, we found at the garage sale, and our mother bought it for us, which was great. It came with four controllers, a rumble pack of the system, all the hookups, and Mario Kart 64. So that's just a little background. This is my favorite system of all time. And that's why I'm choosing to review it first. So, my brother and I, we'd play this thing a ton. It's got the four controller ports. This thing was a multiplayer powerhouse. This thing was sweet. So, that's just a little backstory for me. But, yeah, this thing was just great. We'd play with our cousins, we'd play it when our friends came over, and everyone made fun of it because, oh, the graphics aren't very good. This was the time when the GameCube was just great, and everyone had one. So, my friends, my cousins all ripped on it. I love this thing to this day, and I still play it. Okay, anyway, back to the system. It is a cartridge-based system. The last home console made by Nintendo that used cartridges. Okay, so we got power switch, reset button, the four controller part ports, got the memory expansion where it just I have the regular one in there. The um little uh cartridge slot right there. Let's see what we got over here. We got some Smash Brothers going on. Okay, let's move to the back. Okay, so there's the AV output jack, and that's actually the same one used for the GameCube and the um, Super Nintendo. And this giant gaping hole right here is a uh, is where the power supply goes, and it's kind of like here's a power supply. It's an external power supply but it like plugs into the system so it's kind of like an internal one as well so I don't know that's really cool to me kind of it's very unique um okay well let's plug it into the TV and see what the graphics are. okay so I got Super Smash Bros going on the Nintendo 64 let's see what we got going on for graphics go with Kirby because he's pretty cool. Okay, well that's just a little way to show you what the graphics are like, and they're actually pretty good. I think they're pretty good for the time. I personally think they're better than the original PlayStation, but you know, whatever. If you're a PlayStation fanboy, I guess that's not really going to make any difference to you, because you guys don't care. Anyway, you can't really play video games on a video game system without a video game controller. And that brings me to my next point. This beast right here. Boy, is this thing interesting. Let's see what we all got going on here. We got a D-pad. You know, standard kind of Nintendo D-pad. We have actually an analog stick, which is actually pretty cool for the time. It's not a lot of systems had that. Of course, the start button, A and B. Control pad, which of course in the GameCube that was later changed also to another analog stick. 
R and L buttons, you really don't need to see those. And then back here, a Z button, which it was used for a lot of firing games like the first person shooter and classic, you guessed it, 007 Goldeneye. Okay, so what's this port on the back? This is used for memory expansion and also it is used for the rumble pack. So this thing came in several different colors. This one's just the standard gray and uh, I also wrote mine on it which tells me that this is my system controller with the good analog stick which I switched out because the analog stick in it was kind of uh, getting old. So that brings me to my next point. The analog sticks in these things are notorious for going out. They get all ground up inside. I actually took the one that was in here apart and it was just there was a really fine plastic powder inside. Uh, so that gets old. But other than that, this thing's just as solid as the system. Well, there you have it. My review of the Nintendo 64. My final kind of uh, opinion is that this thing is one of the most influential video game systems ever made. It introduced true good, in my opinion, 3D graphics. I mean, you saw earlier in the video what it was like, and it was really cool back in the day. Um, it's just one of my favorite things. It's in, uh, it's a very cool thing to me that was a part of my childhood. And I highly suggest getting one of these. They're pretty cheap these days. They're only about maybe 30 bucks to get everything you need to play. And, uh, please stay tuned for more reviews, new and old, by the way, um, of video game stuff. So thank you very much for watching, and a subscription will not hurt. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.